Hey everyone, I wanted to make a quick tutorial on something that really, really annoys me on YouTube uh, that you can you can have a workaround for. So, since last year maybe, uh, YouTube has been doing this big push to for channels to do ad reads. So you'll get halfway or three quarters through a video and then all of a sudden it will switch and they'll just start talking about, I don't know, the latest VPN or the um, some privacy privacy thing you know it's a sponsored ad read and you can't skip it the, the, it's not like when you pay for premium it, it skips ads but what's really annoying is even if you pay for premium you still have to watch these little ad reads so the the community of developers came up with a really really good uh, extension called sponsor block and you know it, it works really well it's a community driven extension so let's go to the web store so we're on the chrome web store now and it's here if you just type in sponsor block it's right there skip sponsorships and i contribute to sponsor block every single day so if there's a video i see um, the way it works is you put timestamps on the video so i'm going to give you an example of that and everyone has a kind of unique identifier that it's basically all the sponsored segments uh, and it's connected to a database now I have actually tried installing this database on Proxmox and almost run this entire thing locally it is possible um, and I got pretty far with it but there was still a lot of stuff that I needed to work out so I've not quite got a tutorial yet where I can show you how to run all of this in Proxmox um, and what I wanted it to do was grab all of the data from the data uh, main database or the, the mirror it, put it into Proxmox so it's connected there but all of my information is going into my local database and backup it's kind of three-way sync um, thankfully they made all of this open source so even if the developers you know stop working on it the community can take over and develop it which is fantastic uh, I have wanted to make a video on this for ages so that's what you would do on Windows uh, let's just go to YouTube and I'm going to find something where I know there's going to be sponsors in and a lot of them are news channels so if you click on news channels I know the this channel here is quite renowned for it um, let's see if I can think uh, just of any uh, okay so this is a perfect example so I've just highlighted this here and this read is right in the middle so I'm going to turn the volume down basically so I, I don't get uh, demonetized or whatever for it I'm not monetized anyway so I'll pause it so here we can see in this video it's got sponsor and this is the green green bit here so this means someone's already been on this video and done a sponsor block on it so if you go right up until the um, the actual part let's have a look so what you'll see is it's put it's just skip straight past it if I click on that then you'll see the actual advert so to contribute to sponsor blocks, so say you see a, a video that's got a sponsor in it, the way that you would do is get right up until the point, uh, and then there's two extra buttons that will appear now on your YouTube videos. Uh, one is start segment, and then the others will appear in a second. So say for example, we can see it's already been sponsor blocked. We start segment now, let it carry on playing, or just skip to where you think the end is. Uh, so sometimes what I do, if someone's got it slightly wrong, I will update it, and it will update. Uh, I think I think you have three people have to update it, or there is sort of rules around it. And then once it's finished, you click the same button, which is end segment now. And then here is the submission. So you would open this, choose the category. Now you can preview and go end to double check that the the sections are correct and then click submit. Uh, I'm obviously not going to because this is already done but that's how you would contribute to sponsor block. Uh, they, they also, you know, if you want to contribute uh, financially as well, I have 
uh, then it just helps the development and obviously that is really important. Uh, most developers work on it in their personal time but it just kind of shows their appreciation for uh, some of the great work that they do. I think it's really important to support open source projects. Uh, I support Ambien and a few other projects uh, financially every month and it just helps the project keep on going. So that's all well and good on Windows but how do you do it on Android? Now this is slightly different because there are some apps that work sometimes, they're buggy at the at best. Uh, one of them is called New Pipe X. So there's New Pipe X, there is Grey J, uh, which does have a kind of sponsor skip in it. The only consistent way to use sponsor block is through rather Mozilla Firefox as a web app so install YouTube as a web app because with Firefox you you essentially get extensions it's one of the only browsers for Android that actually has extensions so if I go to my extensions just like on the desktop I've got uh, Ghostry, in Inno Reader, uh, Firefox Relay and then right down at the bottom here sponsor block so if now I go to YouTube now this pops up and you just click cancel you can set this to basically never uh, open in the app so you just click cancel and it will go to the web version the mobile web version for YouTube uh, and what we'll do is we'll go back to the same same news channel we'll go back to the exact same video in fact it's this one here the and then you'll oh, see there that this also has the a skippable part in it so it would be similar to the how the app works but again this is one of the, the consistent ways to use sponsor block on uh, your mobile the other way is to use the uh, DuckDuckGo browser this also has it, its own web player which can remove a lot of them sponsorships and stuff like that but if you're looking for sponsor block purely then um, Mozilla Firefox is definitely the way. The other, the other one that can do it is the Limera browser that can as well. Um, and then the app is called. Let's see if I've got it installed. I did actually uninstall it because it was just really, really buggy. Um, so Grey J has its own. A sponsorship thing where it can skip and it can do a lot with that and this is made by the same company who makes sponsor block so it's all automatically uh, built in and then we've got let me just go to brave browser and I'll show you this app so it's called new pipe and then X and I think that's for sponsor block so new pipe X extended uh, so this is a similar project that the community picked up and then extended it you go to the latest releases um, and then I think I can go APK and then download I probably already got the APK to be fair and then open and we'll do package installer always so the reason I wouldn't necessarily recommend this new pipe is again it's quite buggy what I found is when I imported most of my um, most of my subscriptions in here, the it just stopped working and I couldn't I couldn't really play any videos and, and it was just really really buggy. Um, it would be amazing to have this app running and I know there are things like YouTube revanced and stuff like that, but this is specifically this video is specifically for sponsorships uh, and yeah that's what it's targeted as. So I did want to make a quick upload about it because if you're like me, um, it's one of the things that you, you really get annoyed by and yeah, I wanted to share this video and I'll be back very soon.